Previously on I, the Somnium Files. Uh, so Sajima told us nothing. Uh, Ota is uh, pretty fucked up. And we, uh... Branched off Sorry in... Sorry for the late night, Miss Matsushita. We branched off in Ota Somnium. To interesting results. See, uh... Mayumi told us all about the revelations we've revelations but I have we've some had questions I need to ask you revelations we've had this fad so far one Mayumi didn't seem aware whatsoever that uh, her son was in the hospital because as we found out she has dementia it's an explanation that is certainly shocking, to say the least. Uh, but it's one that there's nothing that really contradicts that. The evidence, the circumstantial evidence surrounding it, like the location of the Matsushita Diner, the fact that we never actually see anyone here eating, the uh, proximity to the... Uh, I always get the name of the district wrong, Kamarachi, with the chemical spill, would be naturally uh, knocking out business for him. Her husband is dead. That alone changed the reframes a lot of the past conversations we've had. And now, of all the strange things to happen in Ota Somnium, he seems to have recalled seeing a particular knife that Mayumi remembers Ota and his dad giving her for Mother's Day years back. Seeing a particular knife wielded by the polar bear. And, uh... Ota got stabbed with it. Ota is still very much... Troubled. But, uh... At least this path... I forgive him. Could you spare some time? Ota simping over... Iris and doing dubious things for her sake. <sighs> I'm going to step on him until he... Taps out. Ota doing dubious things for the sake of protecting his mother, who has said, honestly, tragically debilitating dementia. Okay. I don't approve, but I can understand. It's far more sympathetic a cause. Now let's get to this. I finally remembered. This is not going to be pleasant. I've said before in the past that I have a feeling this is going to end with a Somnium of Mayumi's. And if Iris's second Somnium was as explosive as it was, can't imagine what they would do with a case like Mayumi's About the warehouse. in a Somnium. Hmm? I did it. Uh, I did everything. Eh? Uh? Excuse me? Okay. This is exactly what Ota was afraid of. I didn't do this last night because I wanted to give you a chance to calm down. How are you, now that you've slept on it? What are you talking about? I'll be honest, I don't think you're the killer. You're giving us a false confession. No, it's true! I kidnapped that witch, I took her to the warehouse, and... Put her on the table and pulled her eyeball out? Yes. Boss, you set her up for that. And the polar bear costume? Like... I, I mean, I guess it's known... I guess enough is known about it that she would, uh... I bought it through mail order. 
that she would have known that, and that wasn't just a case of this being a detail fender, which would be bad policing. And you were the one wearing it? Yes, that's right. Date, the criminal has confessed. Arrest her immediately. Hmm. You got to the top of the abyss acting like that? I heard that she used to be an actress. Sounds about right. So she is definitely putting on an act here for Mayumi's sake, for reasons. Not necessarily the reasons we would think. Can we talk to boss? It was reflected in the mirror. Not the reasons you're thinking of. We. Not the reasons you're thinking of. This, this, this is redacted. This is like an overly dramatic take. Overly dramatic performance for Mayumi's sake. Why? Mayumi looks tense. To try and, uh... Why'd you kidnap Iris? My son is under that witch's spell. To try and get her to take this seriously? To talk her out of doing this? Uh... Merchandise, concerts. She's bleeding him dry. I wanted to snap him out of it. I wanted to save him. Why'd you take out her eye? Because I... I just hated her so much. Hmm. Killing her wasn't enough. Yeah, the, the tone of Boss's voice there gives me the impression that she is not taking Mayumi's confession seriously. We don't have stabbed Ota. Well, uh... You were in the polar bear costume, right? That means you stabbed him. Well, I couldn't see who it was. Uh, because the polar bear costume is like twice my size. Yes, I, I stabbed him with the knife I brought from home. I, I wasn't trying to hurt him. He fought me, and then it just... It just happened, right. Why'd you want to stream it online? How because do the world needs to see that witch die. Wow, wow. God damn. Just a quick question, Mayumi. Do you know anything about online streaming? Yeah, yeah that's, that, that's what I'm, I'm not thinking. I'm stupid. I might be old, but... Could you explain it to me? Huh? <laughs> step by step, just tell me what you did. I can't explain it in words. I'm gonna need your witch.tv uh, login it's info. It's more like muscle memory. Ah, yes, right. I was able to get it working after trying a few times, that's all. <laughs> that, that, that's called that's called scuff. That's called fighting, up, fighting off the scuff. Uh, you know. You know how it'd be. You do the streaming thing, yeah. Where did you get a camera and laptop? I picked them out of the garbage. Which garbage? Uh, I, I don't remember. Hmm. It's true. I planned the whole thing. Are you sure about that? How about the what other do you Cyclops? Know about the Cyclops killer? We call the criminal we're after the new Cyclops killer. I know. They killed Shoko Nadami and Renju Okura. That's right. Both corpses were found with their left eye pulled out. Same as Iris. This leads us to believe that the crimes were all committed by the same person. So this person in the polar bear costume, they are the new Cyclops killer. And you're telling me, that person is you? You killed Shoko and Renju? Yes, I killed them. <laughs> this, is, this, is a refer, this is a reverse interrogation. We're trying to back her out of a confession. What was your motive? Isn't Rinju Okura the president of that awful company where the witch works? 
He's just as responsible. Using her to steal time and money from vulnerable kids. And I'm sure he was debaucherous and degenerate. That man is the root of all evil. That's why I killed him. Damn. Why'd you kill Shoko? Rinju's ex-wife, right? I did it to get to him. But the two divorced four years ago. <laughs> that doesn't matter. The bonds of matrimony are eternal. In your opinion, I don't think Renju felt the same way. <laughs> you are really starting to aggravate me. I answered your questions, so there. When and how? Well, Walk me through it, step by step. I don't remember. What do you mean you don't remember? Ah. Do you really think that lie is going to work? Uh, I have a memory disorder. I don't always remember everything. It's not my fault. But you remember the cold storage warehouse. There are times I remember and times I don't remember. Uh, the sad thing is that could be true. It changes. Date, Mayumi is not lying about that in particular. See? There are circumstances that might cause selective memory. For whatever reason, her memory might not have been stored properly in her mind. This is not uncharacteristic for those suffering from dementia. Why are you lying? I am not lying. You do know that perjury is a crime, right? I'm telling you, I'm not lying. I killed Shoko and Rinju. And I tried to cut that demon witch in half. Date, there's no point in letting this go on. She's clearly lying. You seemed convinced earlier. I was kidding. Uh, yeah, that, that came uh, that came through in your tone. I don't think she's the killer. I am the killer. I am. Right now, we have to rely on hard evidence. The Odoroki Man chocolate that Mayumi bought was found at the warehouse. If Mayumi was at the scene before Ota, she may have seen the criminal's face. Somnium time. You know what I'm going to say, right? Date, sync with her. I I knew that was coming. I didn't think it would be coming this quickly, but... All right, that. What on earth are we going to get Peter, out of this? we're going to sync with Mayumi Matsushita. Prepare the machine. I'm very curious to see... Um, well... Uh, what oh? happened? The sync machine isn't operating to capacity. Yesterday's sync, well, suffice to say, uh, Oda and Date were not too compatible. Compatible? I'll give you the big picture. To get the synchronization working properly, I had to push the machine pretty hard. And now, it's not oh. responding. All right. How long will it take to fix? 16 hours. At least. So maybe we won't get that You've got eight. Oh, damn. But that's impossible. Well, stop. Stop yapping so and start working. So we can't working. sink it, huh? Hmm. But we need to, or this investigation is going nowhere. Date, I suggest we go to Matsushita Diner. We may be able to find some clues. Good idea. All right. I let boss and Pewter know. Pewter, we're counting on you for those repairs. I'll be back in six hours. But you said eight. Please, you have to give me at least eight. That Pewter, always so humble. He'll have it done in six. Yeah, Pewter is just that kind of guy, you know? Hey, this is a hostile work environment. Get to work or I'll make it four. <laughs> Just kidding, we love you. I love you, Pewter. You're a good dude. I think. Why would Mayumi lie? She is probably protecting someone. Hmm. But who? Surely you know by now. The only one she could There's be. There's only one person Mayumi would want to protect that badly. Are we really gonna circle back around to Ota doing this to himself? Huh? Uh... 
Sozajima, obviously. No, it's Ota. It's Ota. It has to be. So are we gonna circle around? Are we are we really gonna circle all the way back around to our original theory of this it was a staged publicity stunt? Does Mayumi think Ota is the killer? Last night, Ota left Matsushita Diner with Iris. There is still the possibility that the real Cyclops killer did interrupt their little publicity stunt. Mayumi saw the whole thing. But Ota was stabbed in the stomach by the culprit. Does Mayumi not remember that? No, that isn't quite it. It is possible that she thinks Ota is responsible for everything. She thinks Ota stabbed himself? Yes. Why would he do that? That would make sense. Before I explain, I would like to hear your thoughts. That would like that would make sense if Ota was staging a serious rescue attempt. What do you think about the possibility that Ota is the new Cyclops killer? Impossible. Agreed. Too much stock into Ota pumping up the polar bear. Can't put too much stock into Ota Ot pumping up the polar bear. Van stolen at Fami. Stolen at Fami still. Hmm. Iris had her left eye pulled out. Ota would never do that. Have you considered that she pulled it out herself? Uh, what? No, I have not considered that. Or even asked Ota to do it. I have Perhaps not considered that. That's kind of fucked up. All right, bet the van has to be the key, right? The van was stolen while Iris was in the passenger seat. And Ota is confirmed to have stolen a car to go after it. We know that whoever did it is the culprit we're looking for. There is a chance that Iris was not in the passenger seat. We have also seen evidence that Iris can, in fact, drive, she despite not driving. having despite not having a license. Iris could, in fact, drive. How so? Iris could have taken the wheel herself and driven to the warehouse. But forensics only found Ota's fingerprints on the wheel. That can be explained. It is possible that Iris covered her fingertips with her sleeves. Hmm. In yesterday's Somnium, Ota and the polar bear that was just a dream. That is true. It is, and a dream that was very clearly Ota hyping up the events of the night in his mind. So, if the events really were a carefully constructed facade, then this only plays into it even more. It doesn't necessarily reflect what happened in reality. In short, Ota and Iris are accomplices. Shit. This was all a performance. We really are coming back to this. A performance. Iris drove the Matsushita's van. Ota drove the station wagon. They went to the warehouse separately. Here I thought that the uh, Cyclops killing eye removal and the stabbing meant that it was a stunt that went wrong thanks to the real Cyclops killer, but That, that that was even more unhinged if Ota and Iris staged this completely. Then they prepared the live stream. Jesus Christ. Iris anesthetized her left eye and removed it. Fuck, dude. Either that, or she asked Ota to extract it. That's fucked. After that, Where Iris is it then? took her position on the table, and Ota donned the polar bear costume and started the saw. Okay, okay. Igiari. Igiari, objection. Where is the eye then if if Iris and Ota conspired together and for fucking reason removed Iris's left eye on their own? Where is it? Did they throw it into the ocean? Consider this. In the stream, Ota and the polar bear were never on screen at the same time. 
That's what led me thinking it was fake True. the first time. See. Shit. Hmm. That means Ota went off camera, took off the costume, and then. I'm also a little swayed by starting on the other path before this one, where Iris very clearly died, and so did Ota. From this exact scenario. Stay away from Tessa! Perhaps Mayumi witnessed the entire event. It is also possible that Mayumi knew what the two were up to. So she lied to protect Ota. Yes, but this is only a theory. Why would they do that? Consider the possibility that Iris killed Shoko and Renju. Yeah, we, this whole thing is very much a distraction from the first two murders we've been trying to solve and the something something between Ota and Iris around the events of the Sunfish Pocket, which is a bit sus. Then, this whole thing was to get her off the suspects list. That's why she pulled out her eye and had Ota stab himself. It makes it look like there's another criminal involved. Which, on one hand, rethinking this again briefly, there's the chance that this, uh, just either went wrong or was interrupted by the real Cycl new Cyclops killer in the one Somnium outcome. In this Somnium outcome, it went off how they originally planned it. I will repeat myself in saying that this is only a theory. It is one of many possibilities. It's possible, but I don't think it's very likely. They wouldn't go that far just to avoid suspicion. Date, <sighs> you must consider the mental state of the serial killer. Shoko and Renju were both exposed and displayed. And they both had their left eye removed while they were still alive. Whoever our killer is, it is clear that they are sociopathic or even psychotic. We can't rule anything out. Shoko was displayed at the, uh, the park on the carousel, a place important to their family. Renju was displayed in the Sunfish Park at a place important to... Well, that music Mizuki goes to a ton. And if Iris was a, if Iris was a, was a legitimate target, then of course the, uh, the e-girl, the streamer, would be killed on stream. There's some aspect of significance to the display of their murders. We've spent 20 minutes very much theorizing. Who was in here? Ota. Oh, shit. Why are you... Don't you try to stab me. Why did you arrest Mom? You said you were gonna clear her! Why? Why do you think I'm back here? <laughs> I photo in front of Ota. It's like Ota has calmed down. Why are you here? When I was in the hospital, the police came to me. They told me that my mom confessed. I couldn't believe it, so I went to the police station. But because she was under investigation, they wouldn't let me see her. After that, I didn't feel like going back to the hospital. That's why I'm here. Oh, did we just skip it? Not like she's under arrest. You asked me why your mom was arrested earlier, but she isn't under arrest. What? I spoke with her as part of my investigation, yes. But as a source of valuable information, not as a suspect. Mayumi confessed. But it's highly likely that she's lying, so we haven't issued a warrant for her arrest. 
That's what I've been saying. Mom didn't do it. She's innocent. Yes. Oh, oh, all right. All right. We're jumping to the gun. Jump at the gun. All right. Word is going around. Maybe Iris was the one who killed Shoko and Renju. And you and her planned this warehouse incident to get her off our suspects list. No way! Tessa... had her eye... If that's your argument, then, uh... Don't mind me, I just want to rewind a little bit. Wait, wait, Iris? So worried that my stomach is in knots. The surgery was successful. But they told me she isn't out of the ICU yet. Maybe? Of course I am! That's my mom! What son wouldn't be worried about his mom? You're doing okay. Do okay? I look okay? How could I be okay? I got stabbed by a serial killer! Allegedly. Easy, kid. You're gonna open up your stitches. <laughs> okay, so I really didn't really didn't miss much then. Fair enough. When I was in the hospital. You asked me why your mom What? I spoke with her as part of my investigation, yes, but as a source of valuable information, not as a suspect. Mayumi confessed, but it's highly likely that she's lying. So we haven't issued a warrant for her arrest. That's what I've been saying. All right, now, is Iris the Word criminal? Was going around. Maybe Iris was the one who killed Shoko and Renju. And you and her planned this warehouse incident to get her off our suspects list. No way! Tessa... had her eye... She could have pulled it out herself, or asked you to do it. Hmm. You're kidding me, right? Do you really think I would do that? I was fighting for my life against the criminal! That wasn't caught on camera, though. Neither was the part where you got stabbed. You're saying that I stabbed myself? It wouldn't be the first time you faked something, would it, Ota? Bad smirk. You... Yeah. It's a bit of a low blow, but we need, to, we need to know. I'm telling you, I didn't! Then why is Mayumi protecting you? Mom is protecting me? Your mother is stubborn. She's lying to us because she's protecting someone. The only person I can think of would be you. Right. Why? Apparently she thinks that you're the criminal. Why would she think that? Your guess is as good as mine. Got any ideas? Anything you're not telling me about that, that she might have witnessed. Maybe because of her condition. Mom has... dementia. Maybe her memory is just mixed up. With what, though? Everything is my fault. It's because of me that Mom is... I know how it looks now, but back in the day, the diner was doing pretty good. You know Bloom Park is close by here, right? People who visited the park would stop here a lot. But ever since the explosion eight years ago... The chemical plant accident? Yeah. We're just barely outside of the restricted area, but... That usual traffic is gone, so... Because Bloom Park closed, the number of customers dropped by a lot. The diner didn't last much longer. When this place closed, Dad started working at a Chinese restaurant chain during the day. I'm... I'm... <laughs> I've all, all sympathies to this story, but I can't take his design seriously, I'm sorry. When he was a security guard and traffic cop at night. Damn. Mom worked as a janitor. And we're both working hard and barely got any sleep. Then if she got sick... I was just a high school student at the time. I was... such a dumbass. I thought it was totally normal to have both parents working, so I didn't even get a part-time job. And they bought me a PC, and idle concert tickets. I had it good. But we were drowning in debt. Hmm. Dad. There's a loan on the house and the diner. Mom and Dad didn't let this place go. There are too many memories here to give it up. So they slaved day and night to keep it open. They worked and worked and worked. Thanks to them, 
I was even able to go to a good university, but right after I started, Dad... Passed away? Yeah. He had a heart attack. Oh, jeez. From overwork. But even then, I didn't get it, you know? I didn't appreciate how hard they worked for me. Even when I wasn't taking college seriously and getting bad grades, my mom didn't say a thing. She just smiled and told me that it was okay. Even when I told her I was going to drop out. Oh no, oh. She was already... Mom, I'm thinking of dropping out of college. What? Why do you want to do that, Ota? I decided that I'm going to become a writer. Wow. A writer. Oh, that's a good goal to have. But you really should finish college. You worked so hard to get in. <sighs> you don't understand, Mom. A writer has to put all of their time into their creativity. I won't have time to go to classes. Plus, I'm Ew. friends with the editor of a publishing company. I'm definitely going to have my first book published. Is that right? Well, Ota, if you say so, I won't stop you. Do what makes you happy. You'll turn out just fine. I know you can do it. And no matter what happens, Mom will always be on your side, okay? Forever and ever. I'll always support you, Hota. You lied about the editor thing, right? Yeah. How do you guess? It was really just a few texts back and forth. But I was thrilled. I thought I could make it as a writer because of that. But... It's impossible. I know there's no way I can be a writer. I've never even finished writing a novel. Not even once. I always give up after the first 5,000 words. To even apply for the amateurs contest, you have to submit 10 times that. But mom, she still, she kept supporting me. Not long after, I quit college. Mm. Mom was always smiling at me. But I think she was starting to slip mentally. One day. Oh, what's wrong, Ota? Do you have the day off from school? Are you being sarcastic? Oh, oh Ota. Hi, you don't attend anymore. Oopsie, I totally forgot. How can you forget your own son's career choice? Ah, oh, yes. Career choice. Sorry, sorry. Anyway, are you hungry? You haven't eaten anything since this morning, have you? Are you kidding? What? I ate breakfast and lunch already. Oh, did you? Uh, by the way, Ota, what's living at the dorms like? Why are you making fun of me? I'm not teasing you, honey. Don't fuck with me! Moody young adult. Not knowing what's going on. No wonder he feels like shit about this now. He was kind of an asshole about that. I got sick because I'm such a piece of shit. He reacted really badly at that one moment, but... This isn't your I was fault. I only thinking about myself. I didn't take care of her. I was so stupid, I didn't realize she was sick. I thought she was messing with me. I was so cruel to her for no reason. And she got worse and worse. Oh. What's that picture? I want to turn the photo frame to me so I can see. Looking at this photo reminds me, one time, when I was a kid, I said something really bad to Mom and Dad, and they scolded me for it. And it's not like it was an apology or anything, but Dad and I gave her a Mother's Day gift. My mom was so happy that she cried. That's what this photo is from. <laughs> Why did it turn out like this? I'm such a bad son. Hey, Iva. What is it? 
I don't like Ota one bit, but I can't imagine that this guy's the criminal. Why is that? Hearing his story made me think that he's not such a bad guy. Your presumption is illogical. I mean, he's not a great guy, but he's not a bad guy. Human beings are illogical. We're not like you AI. We can't be logical all the time. But we make up for it in one very important way. What is that? Intuition. Do you find that useful? At times. Hmm. Iba, let's go back to the cold storage warehouse. We might be missing something. <sighs> Understood. We are swinging the pendulum back and forth hardcore between they don't know, he didn't know, he didn't know, he didn't know. I am again inclined. Date, weren't you going to check the warehouse? I was, but a thought occurred to me. Police officer, he says he doesn't have any new information. What about you? Iba. Are you sure that Ota took this car? As I've already explained, the security cameras at the Famisto parking lot saw the entire incident clearly. So it was definitely Ota who drove it here. Why are you stating the obvious? Ota's the one who drove the station wagon. Iba, who drove the van here? There are two possibilities. Either Iris or the criminal who kidnapped Iris. Okay. And Naomi? Considering the time that she purchased the chocolate, that would be almost impossible. The van was hijacked from the Famisto parking lot at 10.32 p.m. At that time, Mayumi was in the 812 convenience store more than 100 yards away. We found the chocolate Mayumi bought on the floor of the cold storage warehouse. So how did Mayumi get here? It doesn't prove she was actually at the scene. If she was, how did she get here? She wasn't in the van or the station wagon. Of course. A different car. I will search for all vehicles that were in this area from Sunday night to Monday morning. I've been, I've been connected to the end system server and began to research. She got a result in no time. Found one hit. A taxi. Where is that taxi now? It is parked in Lemnisgate's parking lot. Lemnisgate? At Lemnisgate? Why? Unknown. But we should speak with the driver immediately. All right, so we're not focusing on who, uh, where, where's the eye. If we want to go down the route of Ota and Iris fake this whole thing, we have to ask the question of what happened to the eye. Because this still happened. Hey, got a minute? That man has a long neck. There's still the uh, question of the eyes are the eyes are never removed at the scene because there's not like the excessive blood loss of the eye removal at the scene where they're found. The eyes removed elsewhere and they're taken to the scene where they're killed. That was a point we made in uh, Shoko and uh, Renju's death. So seemingly follow the same MO, so if they like, they couldn't have done it at the cold storage warehouse. Hmm. Not... Are you talking to moi? Oh, 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 who are you and why do you have a model? Date, now is not the time to be distracted by this old man's diction. Mind if I ask you what you're doing here? You are terrifying. Moi? I am but a humble taxi cab driver. There we go. Uh, I'm with the police. I have some questions for you. Why is this man so uncanny? It's as usual here. What? You gotta come closer. I can't hear you. Walk closer to the receptionist. Well, what can I say, you know? The biz is harsh, schedules are tight. If we shut down for even a date, we'd throw everyone else's schedules off. So they want to avoid that, of course. Like totes, my goats. Too. All right. Oh, I can't believe Tess 
toxic can evict them too. It's like, seriously, can you not? Like, totally. What if I'm next? It freaks me out. Date, could you introduce me to some big, strong man who can protect me? Nah, I'm sure you'll be fine on your own. No, I'll totally <laughs> die. No, I'm totally gonna die. Yes, yes, I'm trying to avoid talking to this man for as long as possible. Ah, this is Magnus Spiel. He unsettles me. How do you know? Magnus Spiel's promotional video is playing. Dante, look, an ant lion. Yay, go ant lion. Yeah, go ant lion. It has a strange fascination with insects. A high stool. It's like a tall seat. Why are you stating the obvious? Why not? Low table. Sofa. Sofa king. Don't. <laughs> oh, have you taken note of the painting? Uh, I have. It is titled, Lions Fishing, Carpe Diem. When the ninth lion ate the sun. It's uh, <laughs> It's her with the big tits with the big bazonga. Oh, I'm so sorry. Let me skip. Friday before I arrived at Let Me I got a picture of Miami from Abyss. I showed it to the driver. Did you drive this passenger on Sunday night? Ooh, I did indeed. I remember her well. The old hag. Old hag? Uh. I took her on a tour of the streets of Tokyo. Our ultimate destination was the warehouse district in Ariake. Why didn't you report this to the police? Report it? You don't know about the incident at the cold storage warehouse? It was all over the news. No, I'm afraid not. Newspapers and television news programs have never been much of an interest to moi. You unsettle me. Where are you from? I was born in Kawago, Saitama. And why do you talk like that? I don't know what you mean. I've spoken this way all my life. My parents speak with the same vernacular. Why do you sound like the Stanley Parable narrator? I have just finished conveying my client from Tameke Sano's studio. I was informed that the visit here would be brief, and thus I have decided to wait in this lobby. Hmm, I recall it was around 10 in the evening. Near the Kabasaki district, an unassuming restaurant named Matsushita Diner. All That's right. where I picked up the old hag. And Sheesh. as soon as she stepped foot in my conveyance, she was already barking orders at me. Follow that van, hurry. I must admit, I found it rather exciting, just like an old chase film. I, of course, insisted that I be paid up front. We pursued the van for roughly half an hour. Suddenly, the van came to a halt at a convenience store. The Famisto along Koshu, right? Precisely right. I am surprised you know that. In any case, I knew that the jig would be up if we were seen following the van. So I decided to drive past it. I parked at the 8th store, but 100 yards from there, while waiting for the object of our pursuit to make its next move. The old hag suddenly spoke up. I have to buy something, she declared, then made her way into the 8th. This must be when Mayumi bought the Odoroki Man chocolate. And the van left while she was in there buying it. A few minutes later, the old hag finished making her purchases and walked out. And then, at that very moment, I witnessed the van jet off at great speed down Koshu. I hurried the old hag inside my vehicle, then resumed the chase. We followed them for roughly half an hour more. I see. If the driver's story is correct, Mayumi did not know that Oto was left behind at the Famisto. Mayumi thought Oto was in the van the whole time. Hmm. We then arrived at a splendid manor. The van Banner. entered the premises through the front gate and disappeared from view. We, of course, Banner. did not follow, so we waited outside. I estimate another ten minutes passed. The front gate opened once again, and the van drove out, and we pursued. 
But 30 minutes later, our pursuit was foiled again. What happened? The van drove into the restricted Kawasaki district. The old hag, of course, demanded that I follow. But I was not about to risk my license and livelihood. Instead, I parked on the road and waited for the van to drive back the way it came. Ah, but of course, we knew it might not take the same road back. In fact, we were not even sure the van would be coming back at all. But the old hag was not keen on giving up, so we began our stakeout. So, van went to random, random manor, went in through the gates, came back out ten minutes later, and then went into Kawasaki. About 45 minutes later, the date had changed at this point. It was 12.25 a.m. on Monday. Okay. How do you remember the time so well? Well, you see, I always keep my radio dial on the same station. I remember precisely which programs were playing during this endeavor. All right. Thus, I can approximate the time. I see. Please continue. That's a powerful skill. At 12.25 a.m., the old hag's tenacious gamble paid dividends. The van returned down the same street. Oops, sorry. And thus, we again made pursuit. I kept considerable distance. We had come so far, I did not want to get caught now. But my caution backfired. I lost sight of the van in the Ariake warehouses. Without so much as a thank you, the old hag popped open the door and took off toward the warehouses. I waited for some time, but the old hag did not return. The goose was cooked at this point, so I made the decision to return home. I am glad I had the foresight to ask for payment in advance. <laughs> yeah, honestly, one more question. I follow your story. I have one more question. Where is this manor the van stopped at? Oh, every taxi driver in the city knows that residence. It is the personal home of Congressman ah. So Sejima. It all comes back to So. Sejima? Why did the van go to So's house? It all comes back to So. We need to speak with him immediately. Agreed. Let's move. A hey, self-employed taxi driver. All right. We're finally getting somewhere with So. We're finally getting closer to something with So. What precisely that There's is no one here. remains to be seen. Indeed. I don't see So or his bodyguards. I do not detect them either. Let's go inside. Hmm. All right. Hey, Iba. Do you smell something funny? You are aware that I do not possess the sense of smell, correct? Oh, right. Hanging scroll. Plaster the Elder with grave. There's something strange about this vase. Gravely to face the Elder. Leave the Ugh. vase. What is it? This is definitely where the smell is coming from. Is there something inside? Maybe, but the opening is covered by a metal plate. The lid is fixed with a bolt. It will not open easily. Yeah. Then, as is standard procedure... I don't like... What I'm thinking... Whoa! What the? Date, destroy the vase. Got it. <sighs> so Sejima? Five is the broken vase. 
and so is Bonnie, cut into pieces. That is the head of So Sejima. Yeah, it sure Left is. Eyes hollowed out. This is most likely a crime committed by the new Cyclops killer. It looks like he's been dead for some time. Do you have an estimated time of death? Today, sometime between 11 a.m. and noon. Okay, never mind. This is like 2 p.m. Well, that's about when I was talking to Ota at Matsushita Diner. At that time, Mayumi was in police custody and Iris was in the ICU of Central Hospital. They have not moved. That means Ota, Mayumi, and Iris couldn't possibly have committed the crime. Assuming that this is the work of a single killer, those three can be eliminated from the list of suspects. Ota, Mayumi, and Iris are not the new Cyclops killer. Right. By the way, why is there no one in the mansion? No bodyguards, no housekeepers. I do not know. Does So have family? So Sejima's wife died in labor 30 years ago, giving birth to their son. He's got a son? His son is currently living abroad. So lived here alone? Do you find that suspicious? No, just... Curious. Date, a call from Pewter. Connect me. Date, the sync machine is up and running. You can sync with Mayumi now. Oh, thanks, Pewter. But there are more pressing matters now. Did something happen? Yeah, I found So Sejima's body, with the left eye hollowed out. What? I'm at the Sejima household. Send the investigation team over. Why so? Why so? I can answer your questions when I get back to Abyss. Got it. Date, what is your plan? Interesting reaction. Why Wait so? Wait crime scene investigation arrives? No. There's something I need to do. If that taxi driver was telling the truth, Mayumi was at the warehouse yesterday. And we know the chocolate we found at this scene was hers. Maybe she saw something. Maybe she knows something we don't. Some kind of clue or information about the culprit. Then... Yeah. We're gonna sync with Mayumi. We sure are. Good God. Doesn't matter. The sink is what's important. If we sink into Mayumi's brain, that might help us find the real culprit. I understand. Are you ready? Yeah. I'm sure boss is busy, yeah. Uh, then let's begin. Tied up with uh this media shitstorm is gonna come from all this. We do need some answers here. Even yeah, where am I? Had a feeling. Where? Where is this? Oh. Oh, silly me! This is my house. Huh? I. What happened to me? Oh, no. This is Matsushita Diner, though it looks... odd. Likely an effect of the dementia. Then we need to help remind her. Do you think such a thing can be done? This diner means everything to Mayumi. If we do what we did last time and reproduce the actions from Mayumi's memories, we could help her remember everything. Is this what you call your intuition? Told you it was useful. Well, if we must. Somnium scan! Activate!
Domain expansion. The chair. That looks like a no that looks like a high chair. Find the counter. I wonder if breaking these locks oh five locks. Wonder if breaking these locks sinking in the sustain. What I wonder if breaking these locks is gonna like open up more areas of the Somnium, i.e. expanding Miami's memories. Why? Oh god. Alright, let's see what we have to deal with here. Not much. This one is gonna hurt, isn't it? Oh gosh. This doesn't seem to be. This seems to be en route to an ending here. Realistically, unless something changes, we only really have two other paths to follow here. And two of these have. Which is that we have three paths for sure, two of them are locked. This is our only other outcome. Suppose next time. For now, we're just gonna vibe with this music here for a bit because. Oh boy.